There are only, by most people's count, about 15 Leonardo's known. And to say, I have found a picture like this is in our circles akin to saying, you know, I had a, a spaceship on my lawn last night and I saw some unicorns. It's just so far-fetched. Don't even try to convince yourself that it's right because you're just gonna look like a fool. <laughs> the most famous artist of the high renaissance. Those paintings are heavily documented. And all of a sudden, we have this one. It disappears for hundreds of years. And then it turns up in America, in New Orleans. Oh, I see. Here's the lost Leonardo that somebody once mentioned in a book. When you go back to old masters, the provenance is very important because that line of ownership tells its story. Where did this object come from and in what context did it land in the moment it's in right now? So, you know, Robert spent a lot of time going through archives and starting to piece together a provenance because any picture, if it doesn't have a provenance, there's doubt. There's reasons for people not to believe what it is. 